name is Edmond Chizito, your host. On Spectrum tonight, government undertakes to strengthen the Youth Venture Capital Fund. What reforms should be taken to make the fund more impactful? In the 2011-2012 national budget, government announced the 44.5 billion shillings Youth Venture Capital Fund to provide cheap credit to the youth for business. The job stimulus program has since become a core policy matter in dealing with unemployment and according to the budget framework paper for the financial year 2012-2013, this program will be strengthened to ensure that it delivers jobs and incomes. In the budget framework paper, government notes that the weakness in the education system has led to low levels of innovation, entrepreneurship and job creation, resulting into high levels of unemployment, especially among the youths, as most of the school leavers cannot find ready employment. Government says that in the 2012-2013 financial year, it will invest in vocational training through public-private partnership to provide youths with job creation skills, strengthen the current interventions such as the Youth Venture Capital Fund, improve available uh, employment services such as career guidance, skills development and job placement, as well as increase the investment in other critical sectors such, agri such as agriculture, large infrastructure projects in energy and transport, which will stimulate development and employment creation. A lot of complaints have been registered in Parliament and across the country detailing the travel spots in accessing funds uh, from this Youth Venture Capital uh, Fund. Uh, despite assurances for, from the Ministry of Finance that funds have been released and that all participating banks are ready to issue them. Now, as we prepare for the next round of the Youth Venture Capital Fund, we examine the bottlenecks and opportunities uh, to a successful implementation. We will also look at other proposals being fronted to generate employment. Our guests tonight, Mr. Jim Mugunga, spokesman of the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. You're most welcome, Mr. Mugunga. Thank you. We're also joined by Mr. Emmanuel Chitamerika, Executive Director of the Uganda Youth Network. You're most welcome, Mr. Chitamerika. Thank you, Edmond. We expect to be joined by Mr. Samuel Kavma, Chairperson of the National Youth Council. Mr. Jim Mugunga, how far have we gone with the Youth Venture Capital Fund? Um, thank you very much, Edmond. The uh, uh, listeners, uh, thank you for listening in. Uh, the Youth Venture Capital Fund is rolling out well. Um, just like any other initiative, there were teething problems that um, were, um, came in early stages of the rollout plan. But as we speak, um, uh, accessing money is uh, as fast as it gets. Uh, they, 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 we have indications that the youth have uh, picked interest. We will, uh, as much as possible, try to isolate uh, those teething problems from the actual implementation. Uh, we also realized that uh, probably there was an issue with the information flow uh, to the stakeholders, uh, including the youth themselves. We are beginning to go into a process of identifying key partners we can use so that this information flows down. And I'm happy that um, uh, the, the youth uh, and network uh, um, uh, um, uh, team is, is also being identified as um, a lead a focal group that can be uh, patterned with. We are also trying to isolate uh, the politics of, of accessing money from the actual business of accessing money so that uh, uh, we, we really uh, put it out there as um, an actual opportunity that the youth can uh, uh, tap in. So to, to re answer your question, yes, we are rolling out well. Uh, we've uh, gone over the teething initial problems and the youth are responding. The banks um, uh, also set, have now set up their systems. Uh, initially, uh, um, uh, rolling out a fund of this magnitude and um, the expectation that had not uh, probably been um, uh, well uh, 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 thought through at the beginning, the, the banks somehow, I think, were surprised by the interest the youth had. Um, so they've now set in place dedicated desks. They are dedicated dedicated officers in branches and uh, the systems and the paperwork that you need to fill are less and less as, as we improve the process. So yes, the fund is on and uh, is functioning well. Could you give us a profile of it? Map it out for us. 44 and a half billion shillings in three banks, Centenary and two others. It's supposed to go to give us a profile of it. Um, actually, the, the, the fund, uh, that was an initial indication of what the fund would be. Uh, 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 the fund should be bigger than that. The, the uh, government idea is to grow it even bigger, make it a revolving fund, make it sustainable. Uh, what has happened is that initially 25 billion has been already identified and is available. 
Uh, the, the 25 billion came from government con and partners, uh, a couple of partners contributing about 12.5 billion. And then uh, the three partner banks uh, put in an equivalent amount of 12.5 billion. Centenary Bank. Centenary Bank, uh, Stanbeek, Stanbeek, and DFCU. DFC, yes. And uh, uh, together they put in the equivalent uh, amount of 12.5 billion. So donors give 12 and a half? Uh, I would just say donors, the government of Uganda with partners. Uh, the reason I'm saying that it's actually money that was targeted and destined to government of Uganda. But government in Uganda in funneled it to the exactly, this exactly. Emmanuel, give us your own uh, experience of this. Is it real money? Has someone touched and felt it with their hands? Uh, thank you so much, Edmund. I want to start from um, where he has just um, ended, talking about how the fund is rolling out. I think it's not true that the fund is rolling out well. Um, and I'm going to give you reasons why. I think it's coming to it's coming to a year now, and um, about 850 young people have so far accessed this money. 800 young people. 850 young people have so far. That is the research I did yes. as per I think a week back from the three banks that uh, you've just talked about. And do you know the reason why? It's because of the access criteria that has been set up. Uh, it's also true that Sandvik Bank has not given out any shilling. Oh, really? Much of the money has come out from Centennial Bank and a small part of it from DFCU. Uh, DFCU. Yes. So, one, it's not true that the fund is rolling out well. Two, there is a lot of politics that is surrounding this fund. Banks are receiving instructions from Ministry of Labor. Banks are receiving instructions from Ministry of Finance. Banks are receiving instructions from State House. And it is possible that tomorrow they may even pull out because they are stuck. They don't know whom they report to. The essence is that there is no clear government agency or ministry that is controlling the fund. So. I don't think the fund is going well. We are going to talk about so many things around especially access and how the criteria set is limiting young people's access to this money. What is the criteria? Well, you must have you must have rich senior four, you must be trained, uh, you must um, have some minimal amount of money because when you go to a bank, they ask you uh, to deposit a certain minimum amount of money. You're talking about young people who don't have jobs, they don't have money. Where do you expect them to get this initial money to deposit so that they can be able to access this fund? You're talking about uh, um, banks, the three banks. You know that they are, they are in about, I think, 40, I don't have this list now, yes. but they're in a few districts. We are talking about... Well, Stanbic, Stanbic has a good widest Stanbic network, more than 200 branches. Wildest, but it's not in every every district. But and I've told, told you, and I've told you, Stanbic has not given out any coin up to now. It's Go coming on. to a year down the road. Go on. So it has the biggest number of branches, but it has not given out any money. So majority young people have no information let alone access to this fund. Jim, I'd like you to talk to us about the politics around this money, like you yourself mentioned, and this emphasizing. But also, first of all, how much has been given up before we go into the politics? Um, and uh, I, I think that's an issue that um, a question that I don't think um, even my brother here is competent to comment about. Um, I wouldn't want to really challenge his figures of uh, you know uh, 850 people, but I know for for a matter of fact that uh, Sentinel alone has clocked 200 people, uh, 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 and, uh, uh, and then the other banks. What I've done is we asked that they give us a return, and uh, unfortunately, this program is coming before the quarterly return reports are due in. Banks work with the confidential information. They have to go back to the branches and tally, and then they can give you information. When he says that he has information from the banks on how much has been loaned out, I'll, I'll, be, surprised, I'll be surprised that, uh, that he has that information, because as we speak, the tallying is going on. What has been agreed with the banks is they will file with the Minister of Finance, and it's not true to say that there is no central position where uh, the fund is managed. The banks are aware, the three partner banks know where they report, the quarter reports go back to the Minister of Finance, and um, uh, 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 at times we do not want to upstage these banks as they file their, their own reports, mm. yes. but um, it's not necessarily true uh, what he's talking about the numbers. Now, having said that, mm. again, <laughs> You see, the, 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 the problem of uh, us leaders uh, trying to help the youth to gain money is, uh, and access money is to try as much as possible to 
make sure that the fund is seen its, in its own right. First and foremost, when the fund was uh, uh, initiated, people thought that this is money that was going to be given A, to the youth organizations that are registered to manage. All the money would be given to MPs representing the youth. Or C, the money would be handed down just like uh, the other funds that are in and so on. Now, what has... As a free gift. Exactly. And we picked lessons from the initial initiatives and we realized that um, whereas they were targeted to deliver certain service and also uh, 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 and, uh, 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 reach out to the target groups, the methodology used served the purpose then. For the youth, we think we have an opportunity. It's not only about giving youth money to do business, but it's also use, using this particular fund to reach beyond giving them money. For example, an opportunity to train in business management. Now, when it says uh, 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 we asked for olive, I don't think that's true. Oh. The initial information that went out yes. uh, and, and came from uh, you know, uh, multiple sources, as right to say, mm. indicated olive. Yes. But the current information, which has been publicized, which is accessible, about the website actually does not emphasize olive right so it's not true if you so education the, is not a criteria it's not a criteria but the criteria is you have to be aged between 18 and 35 yes the only relevance to education is when we say be prepared when you go to the banks to undergo some form of uh, business training uh, it's like a hand holding process that is a process that the banks do and they've continued to do it by the way with even established uh, business the old trend where you walk into a bank, and ask you money. get money and you walk away is long gone because of the non-performing portfolio that you and me know about. So the banks have sort of shifted gear. Instead of giving you money and wave you by and then hold on to your corato and then wait at the end of the business when it has corrupted and come, come in, it, it does not work at all with the banks. Now what we are trying to do with the youth, we are saying, look, the youth, supposing you come up with a business plan. It could be rough, a draft. Can you sit with the people in the banks? If the banks are well facilitated, there are people in the banks who will handhold you. Sit with them, let them go through this pro uh, project proposal of yours. If they say you need to change this, adjust this, this is what will be acceptable to us. Go through that process. We're calling it a training. Now, the people who picked that kind of information said you have to train into entrepreneurship. We're saying no. We say you go through a handholding training process as you access money. That is going to prepare you to even do the simple thing like uh, income expenditure uh, 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 report. Uh, report. The moment you're able to do that, the banks will work with you. What else do we expect you to do? Be able to show us, demonstrate to us that you actually have an interest in running a business. Ordinarily, you go to a bank and say, show us your cash flow, show us your balance sheet. We know the youth are just starting. But if you even just start and you into this for three months, come to the banks. For three months, that's dedication enough. Of course, the argument has been, uh, where do they get money to even start for three months? But holding an idea, nurturing it, and getting it on paper for three months is good enough. So what we are trying to, where we differ with the people who are saying, give them money, let them go. It has been done before. It never works. Right. Now, to address the issue of um, the politics, the truth of the matter is that the youth fund is resident in the Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of uh, uh, Gender, gender uh, 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 is because of the, uh, uh, it's the home for the youth. Yes. So because we believe that they have the systems and the instruments to network with the, the youth, youth networks and these, so on. These, these projects, that are these groups that oversee youth, yes. their mandate is to reach out and identify the, 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 the youth and help them. It's not to instruct the banks on what to do. How about State the, House? The Minister of Finance and the State House cannot instruct the banks on what to do. So Why? if State House comes, they should tell them and to go home. They can't. They, they, they can't tell them to go home. They might right. come out. The only thing they do is, pro for example, you know, so many people go to State House. So many people go to They the might want to vote for security. No, no, no. It's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> the <laughs> banks <laughs> are not going to be security. The Minister of Gender has written to the banks telling them that we are mandated to train young people who should access this money. Yes. That's one. Two. Yes. Two, they have told the banks that this money should benefit young people from all the districts. Yes. And there was a proposal to the banks to actually halt the disbursement of money. 
And that is the politics I'm talking about. Well, but also that they are trying to set out a criteria. For me. Yeah, so who gives the instructions? Is it Minister of Finance? Well, it's explained. Let the Minister of Labor on your side. Let me give you an example. There are so many scrupulous organizations coming up. Unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. Yes. Unscrupulous. Come and train young people claiming they have been given the mandate. That's already a gap that is being exploited. Where do they come from? Maybe that's why the Minister of Labor comes to help you. Yes, but then I think for young people they need to be they need to have clear information. Young people know that they belong to Minister of Gender Labor and Social Development. But banks are getting instructions from Minister of Finance. And that one alone is a challenge. Well, but what's the problem? They originate the money. The Minister of Labor is on your side, finance is on the other side. And you see the the problem I, I think mm. I will ask my colleague to to calm down. What happens is government and government institutions and our partners do not work like a classroom where you have a headmaster and a, a head teacher and, and a class one to them, a class one and that you look to them and this is how it is you must belong to this school mm. this is an effort that has so many faces more faceted you have the means of finance mobilizing money putting in 25 billion and hence the interest 12 billion and hence the interest the direct interest yes they have to make sure that this money is not lost how do they do it they have to have eyes and ears and a foot in the fund you don't believe in Mr. Yeah, wait wait that? wait you have the the banks working with the Minister of Finance because anything financial relates to the Minister of Finance yes. it's common sense on the other hand you have the policy issues to do with the youth which are resident with the Minister of Labor yes now when the Minister of Labor talks about training the youth as they are mandate or identifying training opportunities that will enable them I don't think they are that's about board there is no they are not out of order the mm. only problem mm. is for him in his mindset he says these are so many instructions as far as I'm concerned that's all right. clear instructions all right. targeting specific inputs can I give you an example if you are to pick other players that relate to this kind of fund you'll be shocked they are also parallel instruments in put up in the finance sector, for example, by the Bank of Uganda as a regulator, mm. which even if it's uh, despite the fact that this is a youth fund, mm. the Bank of Uganda instructions and instruments will come to bear on mm. the fund. Mm. You can't run away from them. They are stakeholders. So you can't say this is a youth fund, it must be governed by this and this is alone. No. As I speak, if you borrow this money, there's a requirement for you to have the um, collateral. The, 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 the parallel. Not, no, guarantees. No, no, no not, not guarantees. Mm. You, the, the credit reference. Yes, from the CRB, the current reference. Now, that's not something that was put by the banks yesterday. Mm. It's not something that was put, put by gender. It's not something put by finance. It's something that was originated by Bank of Uganda. Yes. So you want to play the game in the financial sector, you have to adhere. Yes. The only beauty is that we've managed to make it easy to adhere. So my appeal to, 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 the, uh, uh, to my colleague uh, who is actually overseeing a big group that has influence over the youth, there are certain signals we must send out to the youth that, look, it's a youth fund, it's not free money. You have to accept it and I like when he says that uh, uh, we let's make it easy to access and the information but let's not give a signal that do not try to get the money because there are so many players in it these players are necessary very very necessary without the Bank of Uganda without the Ministry of Finance without uh, the gender ministry you stuck now the role of the state house I can't verify I don't work for the state house security I risks mean, <laughs> no they are not security risks because this is bank money I mean you and me work to the bank tomorrow and they borrow money we so don't know my take it and, and disappear in a forest <laughs> I, I strongly believe that's uh, uh, over over exaggerated I don't think and I've not heard of a case mm -hmm. where a state house has so they sure they should be asked to go home straight Away. The truth of the matter, they are not involved. However, just like the, any other leaders in this country, people go to RDCs, help me get money. They come to Edmund Chiso because he works with Radio 1 to help him them get money from a certain bank somewhere. That's how you, we are. And in that process, if I help, and someone say, might go to someone who was from, say, in Test House and say, tell him to help him be a referee or something like that. That can happen. And and by the way, there's nothing that says you cannot be a referee because you work in the State House. Right. But what Edmund, what I can tell you, as the, uh, I've received youth walking into my offices saying, we've been to banks, A, and we want to get the forms and we can't get them. 
and is a helper. Truthful or not. And, 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 and when I hear that, as a responsible person, I pick my call and call the bank and say, look, there's a youth here. Can you look in his case? And what I'm doing, uh, are referring that case back to the banks, is to make sure that I guide the youth to do what is supposed to be done. So when such reference are done by an RDC, a police officer, a state house, I don't think they're out of order. The only thing is when he says they are directed. Now that's different. Right. And to date I've not heard of an incident where a certain portion of this fund has been carved out and sent to the recipients who belong to state house. It has not happened. But obviously what, 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 what is clear right now is that information has not flown down very well. Why, why don't you arrange some seminars? I, I want to concede. You see what happened is, uh, uh, again, my colleague knows, uh, not only the youth fund, there are so many... Because uh, I mean, you say it's all level. You say there's no all level. Obviously, there's a gap in and, and that's why I'm surprised, because uh, if, if you... you Maybe you need you a big seminar. Now, if you Google somewhere, you see what will come out is this. What I have before you. Yes. The information in uh, 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 paper. The youth venture capital. Uh, uh, yeah. and, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't anyway, I've not printed this out. I just printed this as a coming. It's not something that's hidden. It doesn't say Oliver. Yes, at one time there was that information. There was even a requirement which was mentioned that we need to get the youth to do an entrepreneurship training. Hmm. At the start, there was that. And we said, look, how many entrepreneurship uh, colleges do we have in Uganda? How about those who have not been able to go to, to school and are operating out of country and, and doing welding and so on? Right. Mm. So government is not uh, static. Government is not uh, in a straight jacket. Government is as dynamic as it gets. The moment these were flagged, meetings were held and uh, a new position, a harmonized position was put out. I agree with you, we may not be able in, in this, uh, although he says, uh, yeah, I, since the pronouncement, but when they found became a variable. It's less than uh, six months yes. because we are going to the first quarter. To reach out to um, uh, youth who are a spectrum that you can think of. The educated, it's a very short educated, time. The, those who can access the internet, those who can't, the transplanting this information into local languages it is near to impossible. And hence the decision to say, let's start. We may not roll out as means of finance and government in one big push because the fund is not big enough, by the way, to cover the youth. But we start with something that we can revolve. Secondly, let's start with the banks that are willing to participate. These three banks were not picked because of a certain criteria. They said we want to go in there. We believe as we speak and we know that banks, other banks are applying to join into uh, this process. Then we say, what is the better way of rolling out than using existing infrastructure? Which is the bank's infrastructure? The branch network, the expertise, the resource they have. They are not charging us uh, much for that role. So we say, let's roll out with that. Secondly, let's get some youth to start. And, 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 uh, and uh, if I can really quickly tell you, the kind of projects the youth are coming up, yes. the kind of things they are doing, okay. are so phenomenal and uh, okay. interesting. Maybe we, because we have to go for a break, uh, we'll talk about those projects, whether it is, whatever it is, whether it's welding or chapati or whatever, import export, whatever it is. Listeners, this is Spectrum on Radio 1 tonight. Government undertakes to strengthen the Youth Venture Capital Fund. What reforms should be taken to make the fund impactful? You will be able to call in and contribute to this uh, discussion, give your own ideas of what you think can be done to improve things in that place. Stay tuned. We just turn off the music. Guys, it is not like cows. My wife is calling and I told her I was going to the farm. Honey, how is the farm? Ah, uh, the farm is very fine. And the cows? I, 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 you can hear, they are grazing. Well, next time tell them to eat grass and not me. I'm seated behind oh, you. Oh. Hi, honey. Unlike humans, structures built with Hema cement don't lie. Different types of projects require different cement. We offer the widest range of cement products in the market and are most preferred by all kinds of builders. So if you're thinking about building, think Hema cement. Hema cement, part of you from, from the start. The start. It's all here for you to experience together. The big explosion. The grand romantic gestures. The high speed motorcycle chases. The side splitting laughter. <laughs> the tear jerking heartbreak. <laughs> the impossible triumph of the human spirit. It's all here waiting for you. 
Get two tickets for the price of one every Yellow Wednesday at Cineplex. Book your movie ticket by dialing star 140 star 4 hash. You will then receive an SMS confirmation with a code which you will present at the box office. Pay for one ticket by cash or mobile money and the other comes free. SMS costs 1,000 shillings. MTN. Everywhere you go. John, Mike and I, we go back a bit. We knew John at the beginning, working for someone else. But he was different. He had vision, saw opportunities. He started working towards his goal, opened his own garage, and worked, learning the hard way. His reputation spread. Trust, consistency, quality. Soon people were coming to him from all parts. He made himself and his whole street prosper and also helped friends seeing potential in people and helping them on. But John never shouts about all his success. He's just who he is. Special. So here's to men like John who make a difference, who enjoy Nile Special, the rich, satisfying taste from the sauce. Nile Special. You've earned it. Not for sale to persons under 18. Welcome back. This is Spectrum on Radio. And tonight, uh, government undertakes to strengthen the youth venture capital fund. What reforms should be taken to make the fund more impactful? Our guests tonight, Mr. Jim Mugunga, spokesman of the Ministry, for the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, and Mr. Emmanuel Chitamirika, Executive Director of the Uganda Youth network you will be able to call in and contribute to this discussion or send your text messages sms 7197 that is spectrum message question or comment 7197 Emmanuel, what should be done to get this project going uh, thank you so much edmond um i think we've been debating so much about uh, um the whole set of access criteria that has been set up by government um he has talk, we have talked about them in the previous one, but I want to highlight like one or two. One of them is what they are calling guarantee. Yeah. That for a young person to access this money, there should be someone of uh, integrity, of repute in society to recommend this young person. What essentially it means is that Edmond, you're going to guarantee that this young person A receives this money. And what happens when that young person fails to pay? Edmond has to pay the money. And for me that is already a challenge in itself. Yes. Two is that uh, we've talked about uh, the challenges to do with um, um, information not easily flowing down to young people and that is very very critical. Every time you go young people are asking you, sometimes they go to banks and banks don't deliver even the information. Some places don't have even these banks and young people in those places are asking how do we access this money. Three is the whole issue of still the access criteria is elitist. You're talking about developing a proposal, you're talking about uh, uh, how, how do you want them to do? Someone walks up and says I want to do chapatis. There, there should be mechanisms. I will give you an example. Like, uh, if you go down to the villages, ask how is NADS supporting young people. There is a mechanism of how NADS is supporting young people. They come up with proposals at the local level, and NADS will either provide um, chicks and, and ABCD. So, so the banks should, that's, the banks should buy saying, baking flour. No, no, I'm not saying oil. that's what banks should do, but I'm saying there are varied mechanisms of how we can support these young people. How? Explain to us. Give us a I'm coming there. Um, the, the issue of initial deposit that is being asked by banks is also critical. If a young person has no job... How much do they ask for? I think it's about half a million Uganda shillings. That's a little that bit steep. It's what? That's high. Yeah, it's high that you have to deposit. Um, uh, and you're asking, where are they going to get this money? You're asking for three months. You should have registered the business for at least three months for you to come and qualify that for elitist, that fund. Obviously. Again, it's elitist. Yes. So, we need to address some of those things. Um, we need look at Kampala, for instance. If you want to address the whole issue of youth unemployment, you have to go down and beyond these elitists. The third thing, I mean, the, the fourth thing is the banks that we are using are really commercial entities. These are these are private. They are here to make money, and let him not lie you that they are they are offering a service. They are not. That what service interest is, rate? What, what interest that service is costed. For? Well, how do they cost it? It's costed. I think there is a, a fee that a young person is supposed to pay. Um, I'm not sure about the figure, but you should you should have it. So. Why don't we look at, for instance, microfinance institutions yes. that are very, very cheap? 
operational costs are low and, and through which we can disperse money. Why don't we look at, for instance, Post Bank, which is owned by the government of Uganda. This is, this, since this is a government initiative which charges really very, very low rates. So we need to address those things. But I think for me the most important thing is that this whole youth fund we are talking about is an ad hoc intervention. Yes, what do you want? I'm telling you, six, about 850 young people have so far accessed money. You're talking yes. about millions of young people who don't have jobs. Well, but they can work under those 850. Not all of them are forget. Not all of them are entrepreneurs. Jim, give um, me a Who's asking for this cash? The, uh, the, frankly, I, I'm not about to comment on something that uh, I know is non-existent. Um, what I what is non-existent? I mean, that banks, which have signed an undertaking with the government, with the Minister of Finance, to roll out this fund, which is concessional, which has a, a very fixed terms, can actually turn around and say, for us to do this, where we have an interest. Remember the banks are stakeholders, direct, they have an interest. They have their own money there, equal amount. For them to say, before we roll it out, give us this much, it's not true. What I know has been happening is they actually do not say register business. They are saying the business must be in operation. Those are two different things. Whether it's registered or not is another thing. Does my colleague here want to say that whoever is doing chapatis in Wandega has actually registered How many business? chapatis dealers have No, no. If, if, I look at if I can go through my list, for example, <coughs> the kind of businesses that youth have come up, agriculture, marketing, Somebody says, I'm going to get a uh, supply of uh, pineapples uh, from uh, Mukono and deliver them to Kampala. For three months I've been working, this is my cash flow. cash flow. This is how much I've been moving. If I get this kind of money, I'll move it to a greater level. That's what they are doing. If I go through my list, I have people from Lila. Yes. <laughs> they, they, they are not doing, all doing chapatis. In Lila, the common uh, uh, business is agriculture marketing, agricultural production. The only outside thing is uh, 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 trade and commercial retail. When you go to Kasese, the common activity out of Kasese is trading and commercial retail, non-essential goods. When you go to Nakivu, that's where you find the building construction, electrical water supply, etc. etc. I'm just reading from an actual file. Yes. Yes. Now my question is, mm. if you are going to be involved in a business that is rolling out for three months and you do not even have a piece of paper that says when I started in January this is how much I spent this is how much I did. and you go to a bank and you think this bank is going to say forget it you know you, you, you hear this free money it, my brother my suggestion <laughs> is let's look at them it's a way to that is true Edman, the, the, thing I wanted, the, the thing I wanted to bring out mm. is um, the issue of um, these fees it's not true the truth of the matter is the banks are signed on on a fee uh, which is what normally people call origination fee and all the other fees that they use is only one percent one percent now if you know what happens in the commercial banks that's really unlikely. No, you know, what, what do you mean by that? What you pay up front to the documentation, the insurance, that's what everything is just one percent for this particular fund. Five million, you pay fifty thousand. Exactly. The interest fee is fixed at fifteen. 15 now try Edmund, you've been doing uh, these things. How much do you think they charge now currently for a commercial thirty loan? plus, thirty percent plus? Everything above twenty-five percent. I want, I want so to ask to no, no, my brother, Emmanuel, is, 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 talk to us about your experience. I want to ask my colleague. How many chapat sellers in Wandegea keep their records that you can go there to today and ask him how he has been doing for the last one month and he has papers to show you. That's one. So many. Two. So many. Two. So many, by the way. I don't think so. so. It's the kind of record they keep. Yes. And that's why we are saying that they should get this record. Mm. A rudimento as it is. You know these people, by the way. Sometimes it's well, in the You know what they do? Mm. They get a piece of paper and they'll say five kilograms. And they'll say eggs. Uh, beans and they wait and they tick we've been to the ground a man they tick. So now when they tick they also tick sales on a day when you go down to these ladies who sell uh, tomatoes downtown you find she say the 14th of May and you say uh, 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 Emirengo huh? mm. hips, hips say 500 and then you say 
12 o'clock. By 12 o'clock, she, they, they use these things. She, 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 she can see the cash flow. Yeah, she the ticks off. Out on. And because they live with their friends Hourly. to act on their behalf. So they tick off on a piece of paper. What we are saying, get this kind of paper and take it to a bank and say, this is what I've been doing Financial for three months. They will turn that paper into what you and me who speak English can actually use in the bank. That's all we are saying. We are trying to get that data captured and transplanted. The problem is uh, our colleagues like uh, the Money. youth network, they start making these things sound so big. So the youth network will say, oh, you expected to come with a business proposal. And they make the business proposal sound so academic. Not something in an exercise book. We, we are just going down to use what they are using. But because it has to be communicated, you have to find acceptable language. Actually, for your the information, there's an, information. an information gap here. How are you going to of deal with it? Is. Let me, let me yeah, they, they, the information yeah, is. Let me have an official who is going out in the field to look at these records. They ask you to bring a record of your businesses. That. They don't have the records. It's That's what you are saying. No, no, no. There are no records they, of How do you expect anyone to give you money without a record? So what I'm saying, saying you the whole that. issue of you being in business for three months as a justification for you to get money is in sort of a challenge. But the millions of young people who could want to get that money to do something. I don't have anything I'm doing. I want to get that money to do something. And you're telling me, first do something for three months and then no. come and get the money. Aren't you contradicting yourself? So when we say the business must have been in operation for at least a minimum months. of three months. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, there are various levels of operation. If I conceptualize a business, you started it. I've started it. So you can probably have that way bank? Wait. wait. Yes. And and by the way, we've also had startup businesses going to the banks. Right. We've had associations, youth coming together mm. and associating in a group and saying, Look, we three are starting this. Can you hand hold? The problem with the uh, 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 um, institutions like these ones mm. is they not willing to take the first step. What we are saying, and that's why I'm against people who are trying to kill off this. All I'm saying let the youth take the first step even if by the way for lack of a, 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 a figure even if the people have taken the money 850 it's a beginning let's take a step with the 850 what have they done to access that money they've come up with a three-month business they've come up with an idea They've come up with the, with the galanta, the one he so says it's shouldn't be there. So it's workable. Right. So what do we do? Let's take that initial step. Then we roll it over. We get youth picking it. You are going to get the youth in one gear who are one chapati seller mm -hmm. associating with another two and another three to form a grouping. So and they can be can a be That's when the youth network, which you represent, can now find them. The problem we have, there are all these kind of associations which are up there. They are detached from the grassroots. Now what we are saying is less for us, target whoever can walk into the bank. You don't the have to belong to any grouping. I agree with him. We need to pass out information. What have we been doing? First we started with the banks. Produce as many flyers as possible. Produce as many programs on radio and TV as possible, and they are willing to do that. And some of them have started. Centenary Bank, for one, has dedicated desks. Standbeak is rolling out an internal training program for their own staff, so that by the time they start handling this, it's doable. DFCU is already moving. The second thing we are doing is let's use the branch network, which is bigger than what government can do. A Minister of Finance seated in Kampala can hardly do that. But these banks have branch networks. They are available. Yeah. The other thing we are doing, the other time there was, I think, a youth um, uh, meeting organized by MP, MPs for, for youth MPs for Kampala. We had a tent in Nakivu, sat there the whole day explaining. We think we can mushroom this. We are thinking about barazas. We are thinking about uh, road shows to go out there in partnership with our friends. We also even thinking about organizations like his. We're saying these are organizations which probably have the language that the youth understand. But the challenge we have, we have to get them to fast buy. Yes. Because the difference here is this fund is not allocated or attached to the organizations. And, and uh, But the organizations can be facilitated to move with us so that we go out there. So the, 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 the dilemma we have is to get people to buy in and say there must be a start. You are right when you say that are uh, the initial, dip, uh, rather the, 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 the person of re good repute in a society mm. would be a challenge. <coughs> but frankly, Edmund, 
assuming this was not government money wherever you are you need a grant if you do not if you cannot get one person it's going to be in a society where you live whether it's Kalamoja or Okabera Meido and you cannot originate one person right. not even an LOC chairperson can say I know it's, more. it's going to be difficult then you're not worth getting 5 million to be truthful why am I saying this you must be able to do business and live in a society which can account for you right if a society cannot account for you and you think you're going to get money because I'm a youth then you are a youth who needs to be transformed to be the actual youth so I do not agree with you when you say that youth should not be asked to get somebody who can stand for that. Ask a recommendation from LC1, not a guarantee. Look, you see banks hmm. are not, and, the, and the, uh, this fund is not a free money, it's not rotary. This is a fund that must revolve. It must, it must, it must be, be paid back. Back. It must be paid back. Yeah. Yeah, but now when you say, go to council, by the way, let me ask you a question. Mm. A council is made of people. Yes. If this youth can actually get a letter from the local council, then you can actually get a member of the local council to recommend him. But yeah, so but what is the recommendation is okay, but the guarantee is that Edmond, you will pay the money in case this young And some of them are saying no. Of course. But, uh, but uh, some people are coming to me as, as executive director of Galaxy Network. And you say I won't touch it. Of course. You, you, it's a challenge. How many people are more going to guarantee to get this money? But and if they fail to pay. Edmond, I beg to disfar. Mm. Every time you occupy an office, a position of responsibility, and you have people around you, and you have set yourself a certain standard, mm. the reason you don't sign for them is not because there are so many. The reason you don't find sign for them because you know the repercussions in a case they default. But if it was Edmund who walked to you and said, look, I have this business, I want to start, you're probably going to think about it. Now, what am I saying here? It's not that people are not willing and are not there to sign for them. It's that what they are telling them and the way they've been conducting them, some of themselves, some of them, is not the risk that that galanta is willing to take. We do not say this galanta should be a public servant, should be executive you know, director. No, we say it. When you say it. Exactly. Now, when you <laughs> produce that person, when you produce that person, that person should know that in a case this young man, what you are trying to achieve is the supervisory. All right. The moment he gets five million, then you will follow the five million because you signed on the paper so that the guy the, the young man does not default or misuse the money all right this is spectrum on radio one tonight government undertakes to strengthen the youth venture capital fund what reforms should be taken to make the money uh, more impactful you can call in now our numbers 0414 when you call in please tell us uh, where you're calling from besides your name spectrum hello good evening your name Yes, yes, uh, Go on. Yes, yes, man, how are you doing? Very well, your name? My name is Musa and I'm calling from Kampala. I happen to be one of the youth who uh, requisitioned this one.
Good evening, your name? Hello. Good evening, your name? Hello. You're live on Spectrum, your name? Yes, good evening. My name is Ah, uh, I thank you for the program. Point number one. Yes, sir, your name? I salute you in the name of Almighty Allah. Yes, your name? This is Nani Hadada, giving you Muhammad from our president of the United But he is quite upset. Spectrum, hello? Hello. Yes, sir, your name? Yes, my name is Isaac. I'm calling from the link. Hello? Isaac, you're live on Spectrum, your name? Go on, go on. Yes, I, uh, I'm calling from the link. I'm not in the You go, go on. Yes, it doesn't say now. Back to the studio, Jim. Why can't you take it out of the banks? Why can't you use associations? And uh, um, uh, okay. Um, I think the straightforward answer is that um, uh, uh, financial instruments go through banks. It doesn't matter whatever name you want to give them; they will go through a bank. Well, MFIs you, you, also you, do exactly, the same. Job. Exactly. Uh, uh, Microfinances, yeah, which are being referred to. By the way, the only thing they've done is to come down to the grassroots. But they also have accounts within the bank, which gives me uh, gives me an opportunity to give you an example. There are districts which were formed where uh, I think I came across one district which actually did not have a branch of one of the participating uh, any of the participating uh, banks. Yeah, and and when we identified that. We worked with the, uh, uh, the leadership in the districts to get the circles which have accounts in the banks to now work with the banks to filter through the fund. So there are all sorts of systems that you can use. The only thing is the will to start. Now, it, it is, uh, so, so in MPG, I, I think one of the districts that were covered out of between MPG and Mokono, we actually did the same. They did have an, a, bar, a branch and uh, the youth organization plus the circle were used. And this was thanks to uh, one of the representatives, MP, lady representative uh, uh, in parliament who actually brought it up. And he said, fine, what did she do? She flagged it, worked with us, and we found a solution. She said, the only thing is the will to start. So that's the reason. Secondly, when you say, put this money somewhere and make it, uh, you know, the moment, you know the money that banks give out is deposits, you and me, your deposits, that's the money that they loan out. Uh, uh, fees that they gain and the interest. That their they income. Make, their income. That's the money they loan out. So the money will never be labeled black or green and set aside and say this is youth money. It's always in the same pool. To the extent that we've put certain conditions to it, that money then is identified as money that should go to, to the youth. Uh, and I think that was something that came from where. 
So uh, we also suggest that we should use uh, the youth ministry. The youth ministry is uh, is involved from the mobilization point of view. The Ministry of Youth, just like President's Office, just like other ministries, are not experts in financial matters. But they can mobilize the youth, they can organize them, they can get them to access the money. So they are involved in that extent. Uh, and I, I think the, the particular so the Minister for Youth, he is always interfacing with us and is doing a fantastic job. So the reason I would want to say that uh, the moment you make one mistake of getting financial resources and putting them and depositing them with the ministry that has no expertise to manage them, there's going to have a big problem. Uh, Musa from Kampala says he, uh, he got uh, galantas uh, of good repute, but they have loans. I don't think that's a problem. And uh, what Musa didn't tell us is whether he actually presented those galantas to the banks and they rejected them. The truth of the matter is uh, those are very good galantas. Because they have a track record. Because they have a track record. The banks work with a the history. They have a track record. The banks will relate to them. So it's one of those sweeping statements and uh, things that mushroom in society. People take them for gospel truth. I could just very very briefly. Yeah, BCJ, BCJ, BCJ. Um, he says do infrastructure. Uh, uh, my, my view is the government uh, uh, approaches uh, all these activities in a, a more pronged way. Uh, there's another effort that is going to deal with infrastructure through the public-private partnerships. There are other uh, ongoing efforts with the KCCA and so on. So it's not uh, a solution. It's, this is not a fix. Uh, okay. yeah. okay. mm. uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Edmond, and um, uh, the callers for those comments. You have a minute and a half. Yes. Um, first is that uh, I think by the fact that uh, uh, you're requested to have uh, a CRRB card, uh, they need to track your record in terms of loans and ABCD, and I think that should be addressed. But uh, I want to appeal to government, um, and, and I'm happy that it's here, that uh, the whole thing, the youth venture capital fund is a drop in the ocean when you're talking about addressing the issue of youth unemployment. We shouldn't even spend so much time about it. We should be looking at a more sustainable multi-stakeholder intervention that will comprehensively address the issue of youth unemployment in this country. If we don't do that, then we are bound to face so many challenges in the next few decades. Like how much? Are there zero? <laughs> Edmund, actually, we agree. We agree this fund, as it is, is just a startup pack. Yes. It's not all the money that we should have to be able to meet the needs of the youth. But it's a start. Mm -hmm. And Edmund, it's not a start to get the youth to do business alone. It's a start to get the youth organized. It's the start to get the youth to have capacity to eventually go for bigger money, which is elsewhere in the other funds. The moment he gets this five million and he starts, then he's going to walk to a bank and borrow more when the business thrives. Because there are some records. Yeah, quickly, uh, Sumorona, uh, business has failed. Uh, Isaac Bulega says uh, the, the business has failed. But why do they fail? They fail because people do not actually know how to run them. So in the youth, sometimes, fund, they, have money. sometimes they don't have money. But in this case, we've solved the first hurdle. We've said there's money there. We are saying write something. We are saying go and work with the bank. We are saying uh, get somebody to hand hold you. A guarantor on, uh, interfaces with the bank, but also helps you to manage your your your, your portfolio. All right. So I think the, the, it's, I think we need to restart, and I believe we 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 on the right track. Thank you very much, <coughs> dear guest, Mr. Jim Mugunga, spokesman for the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. Thank you very much for coming, Spectrum. Also, Mr. Emmanuel Chitamirike, Executive Director of Uganda, the Uganda Youth Network. Thank you very much indeed for tuning in. I've been your host, Edmond Chizito. Spectrum will be back tomorrow. Up next is the news in English. You can pay, you can buy, pay your bills.